Okay, it's been half an hour and hopefully your potato wedges are cooking away in the oven nicely and your kitchen's now smelling of nicely of barbecue. So we just need to get on and do the steaks. Now as you can see, the steaks that I'm using, they're actually quite thin, so they're only about a centimetre thin, so I don't know whether you can, you can see that through the camera. And what this means is these will only take maximum of a minute on either side in a hot pan. So if yours is slightly thicker, what I'm just going to show you is a really good way of just testing whether you've got it rare or medium or well done so that you can do yours exactly how you like. Really good little test. So if you get your thumb and forefinger together, just touch them together and press at the, the meaty part of your thumb. And as you see, it's nice and, nice and soft and squidgy there. And that's roughly, if you were going to be pressing a steak, that would be rare. So give it a, that's, that's how a rare steak will feel. And then if you move to your next finger, that will be how a medium steak will feel. And then the next one, that would be medium well done. And then if you want it, rock solid well done. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook mine for a minute on either side. But it would be a good idea to, once you've turned them, and just keep an eye on them and test them. So if you like them a little bit more done, then just give your finger a little press and then press the steak without burning yourself and you should be fine. So feel free to pause the video and um, cook yours for a little bit longer if you need to. Right, that's it, let's get on and cook. So we just need to turn the hob on. Oh, wrong one. And we just need to get the pan really, really nice and smoking hot. So first off, we just need to pop a little bit of oil on the steaks. Just about a teaspoon on either side. Just rub that in. And then we're going to put some salt and pepper on both sides. Oh, pepper mill's not working, hold on a sec. Go. Luckily I've got a spare. So really good seasoning with salt and pepper on both sides. And then a good pinch of salt. And this will help make it a really, really nice, crispy, caramelised outside for the steak. That's exactly what you want. So a little bit more pepper. and another pinch of salt. And what we've done is we've put the oil on the steaks now and we don't add any oil to the pan. This way it lies flat against the pan and gets a really nice seal to it and adds to the, the caramelization. So if we can take the steaks over to the pan and it's just starting to smoke, we'll just leave this another sort of 20 seconds or so Hopefully yours is starting to smoke too. That's, you really want to get it as hot as possible so it will instantly seal the meat. And I'm going to try, this will be really noisy so I'll turn mine after a minute. If you just keep your eye on it, on the video, you'll be able to see when I turn mine because I'll try and keep my voice stop talking because you won't be able to hear me. Right, so in with the steaks and you should hear a really loud sizzle. Now get rid of your board and go and wash your hands. And you don't need to do anything to it, you just leave it in, in the pan and it will be creating a nice seal against the bottom of the pan, going nice and caramelised.
Okay, that's been a minute. I'm going to turn the steaks now. Okay, you can turn the heat off and take the steaks out and put them on a board. And hopefully yours will be looking like this now. Really nice and caramelised. And if you give them a little press, see there's still sort of quite a lot of giving them and that'll be medium. But again, if yours need a little bit longer, just pause the video and come back when you've got them as you like. But Go and put, when they're done, pop them on your work surface. And now we just need to take the cream, the brandy, and more pepper over to the hob. Right, to make the sauce, you just need an awful lot of pepper, a job lot of pepper. So just keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. Still going. Right. And now we can turn the heat back on. And what we're going to do is we're going to flame the brandy. So it's probably a good idea if you watch this at this stage. We're just going to pour the brandy in and with the light from the hob, we're going to um, just light it. But I'll have to take it away from the hob because of the flame. Because you're just burning off the alcohol. So put the, the heat on. I'll use my other hand. And then in with the brandy. Oh, there wasn't much flame at all, it just burnt off instantly. That's good. Sorry to disappoint you. And all that's doing is just burning the alcohol off. But it's a good job, it's a good idea to take it away from the from your hob top. And now you just need to pour in the cream. About 100 millilitres of cream. And with your wooden spoon now just start scraping the bottom of the pan. And as you can see this, see it instantly starts going brown. And all that is, is the pepper and the really nice caramelised juices from the, from the steak. So I'm just going to turn the heat down to low now, because it's bubbling away. Hopefully yours is bubbling away nicely like this. And we can take our potato wedges out of the oven. So you can just leave the, leave the cream on the hob and take your potato wedges out of the oven and take them over to your work surface. Okay, it's bubbling away nicely. Just give it another little stir now. It's just reduced down ever so slightly the heat of the pan. And that's ready to serve. So you can turn the hob off and take your pan over to your work surface. Right, 
the easy bit now. So just take one of your plates, pop one of the steaks on. It's a little bit hot. Take some of your wedges, totally they're nice and crispy now. Lay them alongside. Just stack these up a little bit. And then just a little, little bit of watercress on the side. And then the only thing left to do is the sauce. So just pour the sauce over one half of your steak. There we go. That's it done and I hope you enjoy it.